welcome back. So we are going to start out with a 30 ounce straight tumbler. Um, and I am going to wrap the entire thing with this leopard print that I got from North 40. And it does come in different sizes, but I really liked the smaller size. I thought it was, it would be really nice for a full print on a cup. So I'm going to speed things up here just a little bit. I have done plenty of wraps on this channel and I'm sure you've seen plenty of other people that wraps and you've probably done plenty of wraps, but, um, I just took the, the tumbler, cleaned it with alcohol, and then I just wrapped this entire thing with this. And I wasn't too worried about it being straight because it was a pattern, but I did want it to be straight on the top so that I wouldn't have too much to have to trim on the top part. I was trying to keep it as straight as possible for that case. But um, other than that, I just kept the paper on the back and pushed my thumbs down as I went around, pop bubbles if I needed to at um, any moment, and then just went all the way around and got the whole thing covered. And once I got to the back side, I just trimmed up any of that excess that was on the back there. I wasn't too worried about the pattern meeting up or anything like that. I was going to put a strip of vinyl to cover it, so it didn't really matter. Um, I, something that I do, I don't know, I, I see a lot of people that don't do that, but for some reason, I don't know if it's just my OCD or what, but <laughs> I always have to put a piece of vinyl on the backside. So oh, anyways, I went around and I popped any bubbles that I could feel or whatever. And then I heated up the um, little lovely Miss Mallory from uh, Made by Manny and Mal taught me this and I just, it's just a lifesaver. I, that's all I got to say. So <laughs> Anyways, I trimmed up a little bit more of that and then I just went back through with some more heat and just pulled and tight as tight as I could just to kind of give that full, whenever I do these full wraps like this, I really like to have um, the vinyl going all the way down to the bottom because it just gives just a full clean, you know, look to the tumbler in my opinion. So that's just me. So once again, um, I had a little bit of rippling at the top. And so I just took my heat gun and just kind of slowly, you know, heated that up on the side. Like again, I have sped this up quite a bit just, just for the sake of time. Um, but I heated up the, um, the top there and kind of pushed that down a little bit to get a, a more, a better sealant on the top. And then I just trimmed off the excess on the bottom and we're at this point now. So the cool thing about doing a vinyl wrap is there is no need for epoxy on this. I can just go right into my double-sided tape and this is, I just, I have used double-sided tape many times, as you know, if you're a fan of my channel, but um, I just love it. It's just so convenient to do a straight line and it's and you can just, like I said, you can do it right over the vinyl so you don't have to do any painting. You don't have to do any, you don't have to do epoxy or anything like that. So that's what I love about this. Now, I had um, decided that I was going to, wherever I was going to put this to give the look from the bottom to this stripe was I was going to measure from that point going up just so that I could get an exact measurement. I'll show you how, what I mean by that. So I just took my ruler and just measured whatever lines there were right there from the bottom of that to the bottom of the cup. And then I just went from there and then made a little mark with my weeding tool. I just kind of took a little divot out of the, out of the, um, vinyl there. And then I just put the next stick, the next piece of double-sided tape, um, at the bottom of that you know, mark that I made there. And then I just went on from there uh, and did only, I was going to do the three colors because I kept looking at the different colors and there was like orange and pink and green and navy and like a lighter pink and then like a darker. Pink. It was, so I kind of picked these three colors that are available at the Glitter Ranch for the reasoning because they have such a color shift to them in just the right kind of way that allows you to have the, the three different types of colors in each one of those colors. Um, 
I don't know. It just really like once I started pulling them out and was really looking at them and looking at the shift that they have or the iridescence or the, you know, like they have kind of a gold and whatever. They are just really beautiful colors and I have everything listed below and there's also discount Paxton 10 that you can go on to the Glitter Ranch and get these glitters. They're beautiful, fine, perfect. They come in shakers. It's awesome. And they were really, really complimentary to this tumbler and the colors that were in these leopard spots. So as I'm shaking them out, you can see that they just have these, there's just kind of shift to it that really allows for, like I said, all those colors in that leopard uh, design to come through. And I just took a brush after every single one and just brushed off as much as I could so that I could open up that next piece of tape and we wouldn't have any excess glitter kind of floating around so that it would cause any kind of issues now and this is fireball and i love fireball it is just this beautiful red orange but then there's like a tinge of pink there and it just it's just a really cool color and um like i said all three of these colors were specifically picked because of their like sh you know, the way that they could complement the, the, the colors in this tumbler. Anyways, I'll stop saying that because I think I've said it like 14 times now. But anyways, so, and I really loved the colors of this because it was like an Easter. It was like almost like an Easter kind of leopard print, which was, you know, you could kind of really have some fun with it instead of going, you know, traditional, you know, light pastels or whatever. I thought it, I thought it did kind of have an Easter vibe to it as well. So I am using um, Crystal Lac Glitter Glue and I'm just putting a little bit in a container here and I'm going to take a uh, paintbrush, kind of like a, a, just a real thin paintbrush that fits the size of that tape there, right? So that, that way when I'm painting the glitter glue on um, to put an extra layer of glitter, I am staying within my lines. If I had something that was really that was really big um, or wider or too small or whatever, I just really wanted to find something that was like just right in those lines so I could I could stay within that area so that when I did glitter it, we weren't getting too much outside, you know, causing any causing too many, you know, flaws, you know, going all the way around the tumbler. Once again, I sped this up just, you know, for the sake of time. I am not doing this that fast. I was doing it very carefully, <laughs> very slowly, so that I could make sure that I wasn't getting a bunch of glue on the outside of the, um, you know, the lines there. And so I was kind of thinking that it, this was Mod Podge. I do this. I did this in the very beginning where I was thinking, oh, I've got to, you know, I've, I need to put glitter on this before it dries. But Crystal Light Glitter Glue does not dry anywhere near as fast as Mod Podge. So you can, you can paint this whole all the way around and then do the glitter. You do not have to wait for, um, you do not have to do it quickly because this is not going to dry very quickly. It's going to take about two hours to dry, which in this case, in some cases, it's a good thing. In some cases, it's, it is a little bit, you know, more time than you want to wait, but you know, there's pros and cons to everything we do. I'm just going to take a minute for that punch, the, the one on the bottom. It's really an underrated color. Um, it's so beautiful in person. There's such a purpley, pinky shift to it that um, if you were ever doing some kind of sunset, which I have used it in my Halloween sunsets, it can give you such a blend that... So anyways, it's, a, it's a, an underrated color in my opinion. So... <laughs> And I think 
waiting and really contemplating and really using the vinyl to look and see was um, really helpful because I, in the end I was very pleased with this. So I sealed this with like three coats of clear sealant because I wanted to make sure that it was not going to move anywhere because I had all that white in that vinyl there. And then I put a coat of epoxy on this. Um, and so this, at this point, what I'm going to do is I am putting a little bit of epoxy here and I am taking, I think it's icing. I, I will make sure that I check and see exactly the one that I used, but I think it's icing and it is a iridescent, like a cheat glitter. And I didn't want to add any other color to it, but this was absolutely perfect because all it did was add some shimmer. And I just put a little coat of epoxy just on the top there, just to kind of, I just kind of spread my hands down just to make it like a waterfall. And you really can't tell, like right here, you can't really tell that there's a glitter on there, but let me tell you, whenever you start seeing it move around in person, the glitter is so cool. It just gives this really cool little sparkle. So I took, after I did that, I just kind of took the um, parchment paper and just kind of flattened it out just to make sure that none of those glitters were poking up. So here is the first coat of epoxy. So at this point, I have wrapped it in vinyl. I have glittered it. I have crystal -like glitter glued it um, with an extra... Um, you know, cover and I mean with an extra coat of glitter and then I took it outside. I spray sealed it a bunch of times and then I added a little bit of epoxy on here and then I added that icing there or rocks. I can't remember which one it is. Anyways, and this like cheat iridescent color glitter and I, <clears throat> and I just went into my first coats of epoxy and this is pretty much all I'm going to do other than add some pen stripes. So this is a very simple, fast, you know, cup that you can do that you can just wrap it in that vinyl and then put those double-sided tape, you know, lines, glitter it up, give it an extra coat and then seal it up and then bam, you're going into your coats of epoxy and then you put a pen stripe if you want and then that's it. And so anyways, I just thought this was a really cool, fun, very simple design. And I thought about a, you know, decal, but I was just, I really liked the simplicity that this had. So I had some of these um, from a cup, from some cups that I had done for Christmas, a Christmas order. So I had this, um, some of these stripes that were already cut out that I had put aside and just, I always save things like this. And so I was like, these will be perfect because the Navy in the, you know, in those spots as well, this is like a really dark blue glittery vinyl. And, um, I just thought it worked out. It just really brought all of the colors together. I did go ahead and put a pinstripe on the top and bottom of each stripe just to give it, you know, a completed look. And so it wasn't so raw looking um, on that glitter. It wasn't that bad, but there was just a little bit of like a jagged edge that I thought, you know, just put those little pinstripes and then you'll just get a real clean, nice look. And once again, this is just me. I don't know that it necessarily needed that on the backside, but for some reason I just felt like, I needed to cover up that seam and that's what I do. So <laughs> anyways, so when I went to the, to the bottom, when I got to the bottom, okay, so now it's got several coats of epoxy. I have sealed in the vinyl pinstripes and all of that. And so now I am going, I'm measuring the bottom part so that I can put a piece of that Navy uh, sparkle vinyl on the bottom to give us a nice covered look on the bottom. And so I thought that that was the best way to finish off the bottom, but the bottoms are always just, it's always kind of like, I don't really think about them too much, but in the end, you know, you do have to come up with something. So I was very careful when that while I was putting this on because there was still a little bit of a divot at the bottom of the cup. So I took my heat gun and made sure that I was, you know, getting it really pressed down and, um, 
not too many bubbles or anything like that. So I took my, my pen and I poked the bubbles out and made sure that we got a really good look on the bottom there. And after two final coats of epoxy, after I did a really good sanding, I put that final coat on and that was it. And this is what we have. And you can see here that that glitter on the top there just gives just this really cool little shimmer that you can just see as you're moving it around, as you're taking your drinks or whatever. And so I just thought it was a really cool, fun, simple design. And it's very quick and easy. And I just wanted to bring it to y'all. I wanted to show y'all that um, I'll have everything linked down below, all of the vinyl and um, the glitters and everything. And if you recreate this or if this inspires you to create something else, please like and subscribe. Please tag me at at 321 Cup Designs on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, all of it. I have it all. So um, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.